hi everyone, welcome back to Harry John's YouTube channel and Harry John's study. Uh, not the kitchen this time. So, um, yes, uh, in the last couple of weeks, uh, one of my students requested a song by Cliff Richard and Shadows, the young ones. Uh, and I actually really enjoyed um, playing this song and showing it to my students. So, I thought I would share it with you guys because it's, uh, it's a well known song. And it's quite interesting. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get stuck into it. So the four chords we need to play this song are a G major, an E minor, then an A minor, and then a D major. So pretty straightforward chords, but let's run through them quickly just in case you are new to guitar. Um, okay, so G major, there's a few ways to play this. I like to play the four finger G. If you know a three finger G, that's fine as well. That will work, no problem. All right, so to start with, we have the second finger on the third fret six string, or low E. First finger is on the second fret A string. Um, third finger is on the third fret B string, or second string up. Fourth finger is on the high E on the third fret. Um, G major. Next up we have E minor, very simple chord this one. We're going to use two fingers, preferably fingers uh, two and three. Now finger number two is going to go on the second fret A string, finger number three is going to go on the second fret D string. And now we strum all six strings like we did with the G. So easy chord, nice sound. Um, next we have A minor, so take these two fingers that you now have on 2nd fret A and D, move them down, technically up, but we're moving them down as we look at them, to the G and the D. Then, finger number 1 is going to go on the 1st fret B string. Now pick from the 5th string, or the open A. A minor. Finally, just quickly, D major, it looks like an arrow pointing up the fretboard. First finger is on the G, second fret. Uh, second finger is on the high E, second fret. Third finger is on the third fret B string. And we pick from the open D. Don't worry if you miss or add any strings in at this stage. These open chords are quite friendly. You can get away with uh, some extra notes. Awesome. All right, so with that out of the way, let's start this song. So we start with the G. And it's two down strums before we play a little riff. So it goes. And we're back to G. Okay, so two down strums of G, you should be fine with that. So let's jump straight to the fingers and the frets we're playing. Alright, so we're going to start on the seventh fret. Seven, five, three, open. Now the fingers you want to use for this bit a third finger on the seventh, first finger on the fifth. Slide that down to 3rd fret, then open. So nice and easy, and then finish on the G. Okay, so that again, all together. Now, there are some beats and some rhythm with this G chord here. I'm going to leave those out for the time being. We're going to come back and add those. Alright, so next up, after we've played that riff, we've got a, a little riff before we get into the E minor. And that goes like this. Very nice sound. Um, so that there was on the high E, third fret, second fret, open, third fret on the B. And you want to use the same fingers as the frets in this little riff. So that would be third finger, second finger, none on the open, and then third fret B. Then E minor. Nice. So there we go. Pretty simple for uh, at the moment. So next up, we have a little riff before we go into an A minor chord, and that riff is open high E, third fret B, first fret B, and then open a B string. And again, we're going to use the same fingers as the fret numbers. So th uh, sorry, open. Three on the B, one on the B, and then open. 
Then play your A minor chord. And then finally, we have uh, this little riff before the D. Sorry, there's two more actually. So we have the simplest one, this one. It's first fret on the B string, open B, second fret G, open G. And that again, first finger, open, second finger, open. Then you play your D. Then the very last one, this might be tricky for some, but it, it's not too bad. We're going to slide up from the 2nd fret on the G, slide up to the 4th fret, play uh, the 3rd fret on the B with 2nd finger, then play 4th fret on the G, and then uh, what's the second fret on the G? And our fingers are all over the place on this bit, but if you use the ones I'm telling you to use, because if you use other fingers, it can get a bit more complicated. So once again, D. Then we're going to slide up on the G. Second finger plays that B string, and there. And it's fourth finger, sorry, third finger on the fourth fret G, second, first finger on the second fret G. But then one more time, it is complicated. All right, okay. So hopefully you've got that. So when you put it all together, let's go nice and slowly. Now there are some beats there. Don't worry. Then we've got. Some beats. Here comes that riff before A minor. Then the easy one. D. Finishing off with the hard one. And then you're into the verse after that. Tricky intro. Once you get into the verse, it's not bad anyway. Okay, now let's talk about those beats. I'm just going to quickly check it's still recording. It is, excellent. Okay, so I did mention there are some beats. It's not just single strums in the middle of this. Now the original recording is two guitars at least, I think. Um, so one guitar is playing the rhythm and one guitar is playing the lead or the melody. Um, so we have to sort of modify this to play it on one guitar. Now, the beats for most of these chords, basically the first G is just two down strums. <laughs> And that D at the end is only five beats. But the G in the middle, E in the middle, and A in the middle, they're all six beats. It sounds really complicated. Now, I'm going to break it down um, into something simple. So most people, when they play uh, a standard 4-4 guitar song, the strum pattern you're going to use is down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Now, if you play that just once, that's four beats. So what we want to do to make that six, uh, we're going to do the standard strum pattern, then at the end of it, just two down strums. And it sounds like this. So we've got... Simple, right? Let's do that a bit slower, so... That's all we need to do. So that's going to work for the G in the middle, or the second G, the E minor. going to work for the A minor as well. Now, it's not quite going to work for the D major. Uh, the D major is only five beats. So what we want to do to uh, play that correctly is do you start at 4-4 and then just one down. So. And that's it. So if we put all that together nice and slowly, bit at the end. Alright, okay so that's just the intro guys. Now I have gone through the whole of the song with my students 
So if you like uh, what you've seen today, uh, I'm happy to support you guys um, and do a whole video on the, the whole of the song. Um, but please let me know in the comment section if you do like it. Please like and subscribe, it helps me out. And uh, whatever you're doing, I hope you all have a, a great day. Um, thanks for now. Uh, see you next time.